Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cope chair rail. Because walls don't form perfectly 90 degree corners, uh, one technique that uh, finished carpenters use to ensure uh, a nice transition from one wall to the other with uh, chair rail is to cope the end, one end of the chair rail. And how you do that is, is you use a miter saw, first of all, and you cut a 45 degree angle open faced uh, cut like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a coping saw like this, and we're going to back cut at a 45 degree angle along the white line of the chair rail. So we remove the material from the back and allow um, the budding chair rail to form a nice 90 degree corner seam with it. So again, to cope the uh, end of the chair rail, I've used a miter saw to slice off an open face cut at a 45 degree angle and now using my coping saw to cut at a back 45 degree angle along the white line of the chair rail. You want to go very slowly and carefully and follow the line perfectly. Again, back cutting at about a 45 degree angle to ensure a nice clean edge along the finished surface. You want to make sure you stabilize the end of it very carefully so you can control your cut. Sometimes on the tight corners it makes uh, sense to just cut across the grain and remove to the line so that you can make the necessary angled cuts. So after using the coping saw, I'm using a piece of sandpaper to clean up the lines, make sure they're nice and neat, and to inspect properly inspect the edges to make sure that I haven't missed anything. So once we've made the coped cut and cleaned it up with a little sandpaper, we can now take uh, the adjacent piece of uh, chair rail and form the nice tight 90 degree corner. Uh, any little bit of a seam that's still left over, we can apply a little caulk here or wood filler to make sure it's a perfectly tight seal. And that's all there is to it to coping a piece of chair rail. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today. Thank mm -hmm. you.